Hi, my name is Paige. Welcome to my channel. So, I love TBR games. I love watching everybody's TBR game videos or even just regular TBR videos where somebody talks about what books they're reading in a month. I don't know what it is about them, but I find them so much fun to watch. It is my favorite thing on booktube to watch. I cannot wait until the first of the month or close to the first of the month every single month because that's when all of the tbr games come out and all of the read-along announcements come out and i just love knowing what people are going to read in the month even if they don't always say what the books are about it's just so much fun to see what people are really excited about because everyone has so much enthusiasm towards their tbrs every single month so they're just very positive videos that i just oh, i can't get enough of so I had tried to do different TBRs last year and I just kept coming back to wanting to do some sort of TBR game but I don't think I have the patience to actually do a full-on board game type TBR game create that so what I decided to do was just a regular old TBR jar I did try and make it a little bit more interesting so I am just going to go ahead and explain what it's going to look like. So to start, I'm actually going to show you all of my TBR jar prompts. And if you are not interested in looking at all of these prompts, then I'm going to put a timestamp at the bottom that you can just get straight into the TBR. But I'm going to go over all of my prompts and tell you kind of the rules that I have for this. And then I will get into my TBR. So here we go. So me and my grandma today spent the time cutting out prompts and taping them together and laminating them so that they're all kind of uniform and cute and I'm really excited about them. They're not perfect but I did them really fast and I just came up with this idea today and I just decided to roll with it. So I am just going to go through each of these prompts and tell you what they are and if there's any that might need a little bit of an explanation I will. If not I'll just like roll through it pretty quick. All right, so the prompts are Goodreads 2020 Choice Award, so any book off of that list or any of the winners, a 2021 new release, Friends Currently Reading, which means just scrolling through Goodreads and seeing what people are currently reading, and if I have one of those books, that would go into my TBR. Other booktubers TBR, which means I need to watch a video of somebody else's TBR, and if I have one of their books, I put it on the list. And if I don't have the book, I'll just keep watching videos until I find somebody who has a book that I own. <laughs> TBR game would just mean to try and use somebody else's TBR game to pick a book or I could watch their TBR game video and use one of their books if it happens to pop up too but it would, might be fun to actually recreate some of their TBR games too so we'll decide if that ever pops up. Grandma picks is self-explanatory I would just have my grandma pick whatever book she wants me to read I could show her my car or she has a bunch of books of her own so if she wants me to read one of hers then I would read one of hers. Cousin picks because I don't have <laughs> any other people in my house besides my grandpa and he's not a big reader and I don't have any pets too so my cousin lives with me so he could pick a book too. Close your eyes and pick, self-explanatory. Next book in a series would just be continuing on with any series that I've already started. First book in a series would be starting something new. Random number on Goodreads. I would just pick a random number and go through my TBR shelf on Goodreads and whatever number that is would be what I pick. A random letter with the author's name. So I would do a random letter generator and whatever letter it is would either be the author's first name or last name. Random letter but for the title. Random color generator so I could find a color generator and either match that color to the spine or the cover depending on what matches the closest. A book everybody talks about and a book no one talks about. I feel like those are self-explanatory too. <laughs> Shortest book on the TBR, a book over 300 pages, a book under 300 pages, read a book for the current season, a one word title, movie or TV adaptation, a book with royalty in it, a sapphic romance, young adult, middle grade, adult, historical romance, contemporary, a thriller, a mass market paperback, an audiobook, a graphic novel, an ebook, a paperback, a hardcover, an own voices book, a five star prediction, a book I've DNF'd but did not unhaul the highest rated book on Goodreads, the lowest rated book on Goodreads, a Twitter poll, so I would pick probably four options and have Twitter pick, scrolling through book talk, which means I'd probably look up the book talk hashtag and then scroll through until I find a book that I own, an Instagram poll, pick four books, 
people on Instagram would decide. Scroll bookstagram, look through all the pictures, and see if there are any books that I own and have not read yet. A gifted book, so a book that I possibly got for Christmas or from a friend or from my Amazon wish list, whatever. So any book that was gifted to me. A thrifted book. TJ Klune, because I just bought a bunch of his backlist books, so I really need to get to a lot of those. Written by a female author. And these books will deconstruct. I just made a video, you can watch right here, of all of the books I did not read for my TBRs last year. So if I get this card, I need to read one of those books from that list so that I don't have to unhaul it at the end of the year. But to make this game a little bit more interesting, I also put some sabotage cards and assistance cards. So if I pull a prompt swap, if I get a prompt that I don't really like, then I can switch it out for something else. If I get the mood read card, then of course I can pick a mood read. I don't have to decide at that moment. If I get this card, put a prompt back, it means that I don't have to have as many prompts for the month and I get to obviously put one back, which makes it less of a lengthy TBR. If I get Instagram suggestion, then I'm going to go over to these Instagram cards that I made. I asked on Instagram if there were any prompt suggestions that people had and I took them and put them into these cards and it says who they are and what they said so if I get that then I will pick from my Instagram one. And then I made five draw an extra prompt card just to make things a little interesting. And the worst one that I have, the biggest sabotage, is the start over card, which means that I would have to put all of the prompts back and all of the books that I had already just picked on my TBR and start all over again, which would possibly give me more or less. It could really change things up in the month. So we have a whole start over card to really mess with me. All right, so these are all of my prompt cards and I have the Instagram cards separate just in case that prompt ever comes up. And I don't really have a jar right now. I do have a bag that I'm going to put it in, but I'm going to shuffle these first and then we will pick some prompts. All right, they're shuffled. I'm going to put them into the bag. All right, I think I am going to pick five prompts because I feel like I can handle that, but I do have some books already on my TBR that if I can fit them into the prompts, I would be super happy about it. If I can't fit them into the prompts, then I will just be adding five additional books on top of these ones as well. So currently I am in the middle of both Becoming by Michelle Obama. I've been reading this for months. This is kind of like my bullet journal read along book. Every time I'm doing my bullet journal, I just listen along to this. And so it's taking me a really long time to get through, but I just feel like it's a special bullet journal book. I can't read it any other time. So I am working my way through. If I don't finish this one, it's just because I'm waiting till the next bullet journal video to <laughs> listen along. So this might take me a few more months, but I am planning to finish A Sky Beyond the Storm very, very soon. I have it on my couch right now. So this is just the dust jacket, but I am halfway through this as well and I'm really liking it. So I just need to power through, finish it up and then I will be good. So these two are rolling in to my TBR just because I've been in the middle of them for a while. In addition to those two, I have The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. I should have read this a couple of days ago before <laughs> the end of the year, but I just have been reading the other two books. But this is for the 12 Days of Bookmas readathon, and I don't know if I'll be able to get to this, but I'm going to try to. It ends in a couple of days, so I might try and power through one night. I don't know. So this is kind of on my TBR as well. Two books that I absolutely have to get to in the month though are Shadow and Bone and Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. I am going to participate in the Grishaverse read-along because I have never read this trilogy. I also have them on audiobook to listen along. I have read Six of Crows and Cro Crooked Kingdom and I really enjoyed myself reading those. So I am really excited to read these. The hosts are amazing. So if you would like to also read along with everybody, I will link the description down below. No, I will link the information in the description down below. There we go. It is midnight. I don't know how to speak right now. So I do need to fit these two into my TBR. Let's see how this goes. All right. Prompt number one is royalty. Wonderful. That's perfect. Does this have royalty? Give me a second. Yes, I see the word royalty. She will 
Enter the lavish world of royalty and intrigue. Perfect, I can fit shadow and bone right into this one. So, prompt number one, royalty fits for this. All right, number two. Let's grab this one. Draw an extra prompt. All right, so instead of four, five, I will be picking six prompts. Okay, next one. A contemporary. Perfect. We're just gonna go with the 12 dates of Christmas. I'm pretty sure this is a contemporary romance. So, prompt number two. Done. Number three. Random letter. So, for the author's name, I need to find a random letter. So, let me pull one up. Okay. Random letter. Q. Oh, okay. Well, let me look at that. An author with a Q in their name. Okay, I'm gonna have to look on Good Goodreads for this one because I don't know. Why was it? Why did it have to be a Q? Of all the letters, it could be. Okay, I don't have a book that has an author with a Q, and I'm not about to buy a new book just to fulfill a prompt. So, next letter. I didn't re record that. That says T. That was rough. Okay. I forgot to screen record that. My bad. So, I need to find a book with a T. That one works for me. Stop it to here. Perfect. <laughs> this is working out for me right now. I mean, I guess that Q was a little difficult. So, that was three. I need to do three more. Ah. Okay. Number four. A random <laughs> for the title oh my goodness okay of course it'd be the same thing let me record this one okay last up it said t and now it says l okay title with an l in it title with an l do i have one siege and storm no okay let's look this card is a mess oh my goodness okay for this one i had a few options but i ultimately decided to go with the lightning struck heart by tj clune i know that he is coming out with the fifth book in this series so i need to start the series so that i can catch up and read it along with everybody because i love tj clune's writing i love his stories and i am very excited this is probably his second most popular series that i see on amazon so i'm very excited to start this one all right number five let's not do another random letter let's go with this one. Oh my goodness <laughs> are these all together <laughs> random color generator oh goodness i'm not sure which one to use let's go with this random color one is, is this it okay. I, i'll refresh and do the next color okay so here we go with this pink color anything over here not quite all right oh i think i have an idea i think i am going to go with the gravity of us by phil stamper i feel like it's pretty similar to this purple and pink color right in between so I'm going to go with this. I've been meaning to read this for a really long time. It is one of the lowest rated on my Goodreads, but I've heard really good things about it. So I am really excited to read something short too. So this is book number five for a random color generator. Random color generator. And hopefully last but not least, nothing random. Okay, let's go with this one hardcover all right i'm going to put that hardcover as siege and storm so this worked out really great for me this month so i am going to quickly recap what i'm going to read in the month so i'm going to attempt to finish becoming by michelle obama i am going to listen along while i am filling out my bullet journal so this might not be completed in the month and i am okay with that because i am just taking my time with it it is so good and i just love listening to her voice it's super calming as i'm trying to do my bullet journal so this one is 
on my TBR, but if I don't complete it, I'm okay with that. Then I pulled the royalty card, so I needed to find a book with royalty, and that just so happened to fit into Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. And what I know about this is that it is in the Six of Crows universe. That is all I know. It looks like it's about a girl named Alina who has some powers, which I believe makes her a Grisha, and so she is going along with figuring out what it means to be a Grisha, maybe? I don't really know. I know nothing about this series, so I am excited to read along with everybody and see how this turns out. My second prompt was to read a contemporary, and I picked The Twelve Dates of Christmas, which I believe is about a girl who is in her 30s. I guess she isn't feeling like her town offers a lot of good dates, and she's kind of like in a dating slump, I guess. So she goes on 12 dates before Christmas. That's all I know, or 12 dates around Christmas, and probably one of them is the one. Who knows? So this will be my contemporary pick. So then somewhere along the line, I drew an extra prompt card. Not sure if that was number two or number one, but I also then drew random letter for an author. And at first I got a Q, and that didn't work out because I don't have any authors with first name or last name with a Q. So I did it again, and I got a T. And I decided to go with A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. This is the fourth in the Ember and the Ashes trilogy, which is about a girl named Leia and a boy named Elias and another girl named Helene, I believe is how you pronounce it. I think that's, I'm not really sure. But they are all living in this world where there are people called masks who are raised as assassins and that is what Elias and Helene are and Leia is one of the people that they tend to use as slaves and whatnot and they are all kind of on an uprising against this government and whatnot and there is love and intrigue and magic and it's very slow for a little bit for me but I have been enjoying it. I really love book three and I am enjoying book four so far so I can't wait to finish this one. Then we pulled another random letter which was for the title and I got the letter L so I decided to go with the lightning struck heart by TJ Klune which I actually don't really know what it's about. All right so really quick it looks like it is a fantasy about a boy named Sam who realizes that he has magical powers and it sounds really hilarious. There are hornless gay unicorns and half giants named Tiggy and it just sounds like it's going to be a pretty hilarious story so I am excited for something light and fun to read. TJ Klune is super hilarious. I love all of his other stories I've read so far. His humor is great. His characters are so great and the relationships that he writes are wonderful. So I am very excited about this one. So then I pulled Random Color Generator and I got some pinky purple color and I went with The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper which I believe it's about a boy who has to move where he's living because his dad works for NASA and I think he meets another boy whose parent also works for NASA and they grow close from there. I think. I'm not super positive on that but I have seen it on the Goodreads Choice Awards, I think it was one of the runner-up list people. People, I mean books. So I am excited to read it. I hope that it's really good, even though it has low ratings on Goodreads, but I guess we will see. And last but not least, we got hardcover. So I went with the second book in the Grisha read-along that I need to read, which is Siege and Storm, I believe. If not, no, I'm right. Okay, book two. <laughs> so I also don't know what this is about and I probably should not read the inside flap since I haven't read the first book either so I guess I will find out later in the month what this one's about. So these are my seven books that I will be attempting to read in January. I guess we are going to see how that's going to go but I feel like this is a pretty doable stack. None of them are too long so I feel like even though I've been a little bit in a slump I might be able to make it through with this. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing that. I already wanted to be the end of the month because that was so much fun. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you like this TBR jar video style or TBR picking style. I guess I don't know how to word that. But if you have any prompt suggestions, please put them down below and I will add them to my spreadsheet so when I get around to it, I can add them into the pile. I would love to know what you suggest I do and what I need to add and whatnot. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to eventually see a wrap up, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you want to add me on Instagram or Twitter and chat with me there, I would absolutely love that. I love getting to talk to everybody over there. And I think that's all I have. So I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.